Hello guys, I'm your meteorologist, Chris Nixon, and today we are going to go everywhere like normal from severe storms to tropical to your local weather. Now, to start off, we have a whole bunch of severe weather to talk about. We have uh, for, from the 24th of May all the way until three days out from now. So we have a lot to talk about. So let's start off on May 24th. We had 40 tornadoes and nearly 200 reports on the 25th. We had 16 tornadoes and also very close to 200 reports. Now on the uh, on May 26th, we had a severe weather outbreak with 21 tornadoes and over 400 reports for the day. That was a very interesting day to track for uh, just purposes of tracking it, because why not? On the 27th, we had 19 tornadoes and uh, nearly 100 total reports for the day. On the 28th, we had five tornado reports in nearly 80 reports yesterday. So um, lots of things going on there. Today, we here in Central Ohio are on a marginal risk of severe weather. Down in Texas, they also have a chance of severe weather. They are in the slight, however, so a little more uh, increased chance for storm, severe storms today. So we'll have strong to severe storms probably, um, but th they'll be scattered. So not everybody will get one. Two days out, we have a slight risk for uh, South Dakota, Nebraska, heading down that way. Uh, and then a good chunk of marginal around that. And then three days out, so Tuesday, uh, the first day of June, by the way, start of the Atlantic hurricane season, more on that in a bit. Uh, there's a marginal risk all the way from Wisconsin down into Texas, and also there is a little bit over here in the Florida Panhandle. So let's take a moment to talk about tropical depression now, Bonnie. Uh, so you heard me talking about Invest 91L for a while, uh, an ATL two uh that we were looking at off north of the bahamas west of florida east of bermuda that area in there south of south carolina well really south of north carolina rather uh we we were watching that that chances just increased that became tropical depression two and honestly it didn't look like it was well formed all of its showers and winds of everything were all pushed strongly to the north side. However, we did see it develop into a tropical depression and then into a tropical storm, uh, receiving the name Bonnie. That happened yesterday. Early this morning, about 8 a.m., it was uh, downgraded to a tropical depression and the tropical storm warnings that were in effect for all of the coast of South Carolina ended. Um, that, that was really a good thing for the, the South Carolinians. However, uh, rain is still affecting the area along with wind. I'll have a picture of that radar up right now. Before we continue any farther, I'd like to give a little clip of the storms that hit our area yesterday. Okay, so anyway, I'm meteorologist Chris Dixon. We are here, we do have a storm to our south. Uh, reports of 40 mile an hour wind, it's moving uh, I think north northwest at 30 miles an hour. 40 mile an hour wind pea sized tail associated with that storm that is a special weather statement for that right now. So that is moving our way. It's down uh, near St. Charles, so in Columbus, and that will be heading our way here shortly. Now there is some lightning associated with it. Uh, there is some light thunder that you can hear in the background uh, in our current location. So we will be keeping an eye on this uh as this storm heads towards our area i hope you guys enjoyed that clip of me standing outside sorry i couldn't get much i'll have some pictures rolling in the background that i took uh over at my grandparents house they're a little 
not so great. But uh, just to give you a guy guys a look at uh, how crazy the winds, uh, wind and rain was. The rain was coming down pretty hard there. Uh, anyway, currently today it is going to be 85 degrees. Storms occurring later today, like I talked about earlier. Uh, scattered, not everybody will get them. Lows will be in the 60s. We'll head it up into the mid-upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday. Heading into Thursday, storms return will be in the 80s. And then Saturday, by next Saturday, looks like we'll be back into the mid 70s nearing our normal temperature range for this time as the lows also dip in to the mid 50s. On Friday we received a, a report here of 95 degree weather. I think that was a little high ball because Newark was around 90 and Port Columbus was around 88. It is now 11 a.m. and when I recorded the clip I didn't realize we were so close to an update surprisingly like I've been waiting all morning for this update to come out. Bonnie is still tropical depression. Winds are around 35 miles an hour and uh, pressure I'm pretty sure is still around 1,009 millibars. That is expected to remain a depression until early Tuesday morning and the good thing about Tuesday is it's the official beginning of the Atlantic hurricane season.